What's going on guys, this is United WWE coming at you another video. First of all, I just want to start off this video by apologising. I have not uploaded in a while, probably two weeks maybe, maybe a bit more. I just want to apologise for that, I've been extremely busy, but I have been working on content. You know, there's a lot of uh, WWE stuff going around at the moment. You know, we have WWE 2K17, the WWE Draft, just a lot of stuff to get through. And uh, yeah, it's been a busy time, I've missed some of it, but I have been working away on videos, uh, trying to, you know, keep you guys up to date uh, with the latest uh, action within the WWE and of course with WWE 2K17 but as I said guys I have been working on content so that will be coming your way very soon thank you for the people for staying loyal to this channel and subscribing thank you very much I really appreciate it well I'm gonna get straight into this video we're talking about the WWE draft it was live last night the first Smackdown live ever on the USA Network and uh, all together I thought it was a decent show it was a bit hard to get through it was about 3am here in Ireland when the show was over and um, you know, I found it so tough they were talking about like just tough to get through the show I should say but they are talking about afterwards when the show was over you know go over to the WWE Network and the uh, Draft Centre and all that stuff to find out the rest of the draft picks and you know, I was really wanted to see if Samoa Joe or Nakamura or Bailey were going to be drafted because there are still two more NXT picks to go I think but um yeah, I didn't even watch the WWE Network part of that because I was just absolutely shattered. SmackDown, was, even though it was two hours, it was so hard to get through because you just wanted to kind of see the draft. You know, you wanted to see who was going where and you know, the rest of the show kind of dragged on. There was some good matches, but uh, altogether, I don't know, Like it, it was kind of hard to get through as a show. But uh, yeah, getting into the draft itself, Monday Night Raw, of course, will be commissioned by Stephanie McMahon and the GM was announced on Monday as Mick Foley. So everyone's interested to see who the first draft pick was going to be. No surprise, really. It was Seth Rollins, the number one contender for the WWE Championship. He was going against Dean Ambrose on uh, the main event of SmackDown. Dean Ambrose, no surprise really as well. He was the first draft pick for the commissioner of SmackDown, Shane McMahon, and his GM, Daniel Bryan. As I said, guys, no real surprise there. I was always expecting, um, you know, the shield to kind of be broken up a bit in terms of having. I don't. I never thought that for a second that Reigns, Ambrose, and Rollins would be on the same show. I always thought it would be Ambrose going to SmackDown and Rollins and Reigns on Raw, and that's how it ended. It really ended up, you know. That's uh, from the draft anyway. But um, yeah, just moving on. We're looking at. I'm looking at what draft picked is next. We had Charlotte. She went to Monday Night Raw. Very surprised that a woman was drafted on uh, on the roster so early. But uh, it's good to see, I suppose. You know, Stephanie's always trying to stand up for the women in WWE. And uh, fair play to Charlotte. She was a number three draft pick overall. Uh, massive surprise guys probably the biggest surprise of the night you know, we were told there's going to be 6 NXT guys drafted all together but lo and behold Finn Balor was drafted to Monday Night Raw I think he was overall he was the 5th pick and I, was, I just went berserk for that I was so happy to hear that Finn you know, after all the hard work he's put in you know, about 2 or 3 years in NXT about 14 years before that show he's wrestled all across the world and it looks like he's finally going to be on the main stage the flagship show on the wwe tv show on monday night raw i'm absolutely delighted for him but uh yeah uh who was it uh anderson and gallows i meant to say were uh drafted onto raw as well so it'll be interesting to see will he form the bullet club jump baller club whatever he wants to call it the club you know because aj Styles was drafted to smackdown so it looks like you know the club has been broken up it was, Will Finn Balor go about reforming it? I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, maybe the Balor Club. I think uh, that would be a uh, much uh, better TV probably to watch than you know the the current club because I just don't know what the WWE were doing with that. I was delighted when they originally formed together, but you know it just went downhill lately. And it looks like at Battleground on Sunday, maybe we get to see Finn Balor. You know, maybe Finn Balor comes out and gets involved in the match. You know, I don't know some sort of turn on AJ Styles or something where Anderson and Gallows, you know, kind of leave their mark on AJ Styles maybe a face turn for AJ Styles or is it too soon I don't know but uh, it'd be interesting to see will Finn Balor be at Battleground this Sunday but uh, moving on guys next up as I mentioned Reigns was drafted to Monday Night Raw we also had Brock Lesnar 
no real surprise there. The New Day, Sami Zayn, Sasha Banks, Chris Jericho, uh, Rusev and Lana also drafted to Raw. I was actually surprised that Sami Zayn got drafted before um, Kevin Owens because you know they did a whole thing where uh, Sami Zayn was chasing Kevin Owens down the ramp and shit like that, and then they got in the ring and uh, Kane double choke slammed them because Kevin Owens was supposed to be going against. Uh, Kane in a one on ones match, but Kane just double chokes on the ball with them. I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, Kane was actually drafted to SmackDown. He was overall, he was a 34th draft picked. Uh, a few more that were drafted to uh, SmackDown, I should say, Randy Orton, John Cena. I was actually very surprised that Cena wasn't in the top four draft picks, you know, because they're always talking about how he is, the face of the company, and all this shit. But uh, yeah, overall, he was the, I think it was the seventh draft picked. And Randy Orton was the ninth, so both of them have gone to SmackDown. You know that I think that's good for SmackDown because you're always going to have to, um, you know, put big names on SmackDown if you want to, you know, rejuvenate that product and just get it going again. Because um, you know, if someone like John Cena and Randy Orton, they'll be well able to do that. Even though it's a new era, you know, you're always going to have to rely on people from the the old era sort of to you know kickstart things and get things going again. But uh, yeah, I think that's a great move for SmackDown along with Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt. Of course, uh, this, the family were kind of mixed up a bit last night. Braun Strowman was drafted to Raw. I think Eric Rowan has been drafted to SmackDown. I'll leave all the drafts in the the comment section below or in the description, I should say, of this video, guys. So you'll be able to have a look through if you missed the draft last night. But, uh, yeah, guys, Bray Wyatt, I hope he can go on a good run on SmackDown. Maybe, you know, go after whatever titles on SmackDown. Maybe it's the World Heavyweight Championship. It could be WWE Championship. But I just can't see Dean Ambrose walking out of battle round as the champion i think it will be seth rollins and seth rollins will bring the wwe championship back to monday night raw and maybe who knows shane mcmahon and daniel bryan bring back the world heavyweight championship to the blue brand but we'll just have to wait and see chad gable and jason jordan were both drafted from nxt to smackdown that was another big shocker it was great to see the nxt guys getting drafted up um i think they're all together i think there was six um i was hoping there'd be more but uh, yeah guys i'm really happy to see them on smackdown i think they're gonna tear it up on the blue brand and just go you know, just go above and beyond because I know they're well able for it and they just come on leaps and bounds over the last couple of weeks. Uh, another NXT superstar that was drafted to Raw this time, um, I think it was, where is she? Yeah, Nia, Nia Jax, I should say. The big woman, she's a big lady, but uh, yeah, she has been drafted to Monday Night Raw. But like it, it you know, if you're gonna go about having this um, draft as an actual shoot, you know, the real deal, there is no way in hell that you know neither brand selected Bailey, Nakamura, Samoa Joe, all of these guys. You know, if you're gonna have a le legit draft, and how the hell? Was Bailey or Samoa Joe or Nakamura not drafted? I just don't get it, guys. You know, it's you. You just have to if you're gonna have an actual draft, then you might as well go all out. But it looks like they can't take too many stars out of NXT at one time, so we'll just have to be patient. Maybe Sasha Banks' partner at Battleground will be Bailey, but you know, Sasha Banks has come out and said it won't be Bailey. But who knows? She could be trolling. But uh. Yeah, some shitty drafts as well. There's Tyler Breeze and Fandango. They went to SmackDown. Uh, who else do we have? Naomi, she went to SmackDown. Mojo, Mojo Rally, I should say. He's gone to SmackDown. Uh, the hype train is on his way to the blue brand. But uh, yeah, interesting that Mojo Riley as well. Do you think there'll be a lot of people ahead of him on the list to get uh, drafted? But uh, who knows? He could do well. I hope he does well. Anyway, Carmella as well. She has been drafted to SmackDown. I was actually very happy for her because I was sad to see when Enzo and Cass were drafted away from NXT. You know, a lot of people thought you know, she'd be down there for a year or so more. But looks like you know, they brought Carmella straight up, straight away. So um, even though should be away from Enzo and Cass. Enzo and Cass have been drafted to Monday Night Raw, but I'm sure she'll be fine on her own and do a great job. Uh, Paige, another diva, she's been drafted to Monday Night Raw. You know, she really needs to kind of rejuvenate her career, get things kickstarted again. She's kind of in a stale patch at the moment. So, uh, yeah, her along with the likes of Summer Rae, Alicia Fox as well, and Dana Brooke have been drafted to the Red Brand. Uh, some interesting ones as well. Sin Cara, the Dudley Boys, Jack Swagger, Mark Henry, 
Bo Dallas, the Shining Stars and Curtis Axel have also been drafted to Monday Night Raw. Uh, Cesaro and Sheamus as well along with Neville, Big Show, people like that all gone to Monday Night Raw. Uh, I've seen an interview actually with Cesaro last night and you guys know I've kind of been critical of Cesaro. I'm not his biggest fan of the world. I love his in-ring work but I always think his personality is just lacking. You know, he kind of... I don't know, he just doesn't really have anything about him. He does, I know he does his talking in the ring, sort of, as if to say, you know, this is who I am, this is what I'm all about. But, you know, the guy really needs to learn to kind of, you know, just a bit of charisma and a bit of... Uh, John, just go about being himself because I think he'll get go over even more than he is at the moment. But um, yeah, he did a very interesting interview on the draft center last night on the network, and he just really he was just himself and he was just talking normally. He wasn't trying to be some goofy James Bond motherfucker. He's just being himself and he was just talking about how he was surprised he was the twenty eight draft pick overall and he wasn't happy with that. And that's the way it should be. He should be pissed off and he should be saying, you know, I'm gonna go out there and prove to Stephanie and Mick Foley that I'm should be you know in the title picture i should be in the main event just get pissed off cesaro just go for it because you know we have nothing to lose at the end of the day you know because they're in a really nothing spot at the moment uh some interesting picks for raw again uh, chris jericho as well um a future hall of famer he's been drafted to raw uh, some young lads for SmackDown. Baron Corbin has been drafted to the blue brand. Um, you know, I really think um, he has a chance of really you know, kind of just kicking on on SmackDown. Because he just like people like Paige and Cesaro. And as I mentioned earlier on in the video, there's a lot of people that are kind of in a stale patch. And I think he's kind of drifted into that as well. But uh, hopefully he gets, being put, he gets put into a few feuds. And you know, we get to see more of what he's all about. Uh, the Ascension, Zack Ryder, Apollo Crews, Alexa Bliss, I mentioned her earlier on, Eva Marie, the VOD villains, and uh, yeah, there's a few more that I just mentioned there. They've also been drafted as SmackDown, Dolph Ziggler, and Natalia Alberto Del Rio, and um, a few, Becky Lynch, I'm delighted for Becky Lynch, she's going to be, be on the blue brand. Of course, there is no women's championship on SmackDown, but I'm sure they'll have something sorted for the women. Maybe the, the champion gets to compete on both brands, I don't know, but that would be kind of stupid kind of breaking up the rules of the the draft so early on but we'll just have to wait and see because at the moment the women will have like nothing to fight for on smackdown so i'm sure they're gonna have to change that up i just hope they don't bring back the divas championship that would be absolutely pointless but uh yeah guys let me know in the comment section below what did you think of the draft overall i thought it was a bit uh, disappointing and uh, a bit of a drag to get through i think it probably would have been better if they just did it on monday night raw but i suppose they had to do it on smackdown to get the hype there but i'm sure there'll be a lot more uh, shocks and surprises after battleground once we get to see the first new raw and the first new smackdown maybe things will you know kick on and get a bit more exciting but uh yeah i think i was a bit too excited for the shows last uh, for the show last night smackdown live and i kind of it's kind of let down in the end but um delight for finn balor delight for becky lynch now this is a new star and uh even for Seamus, you know, because as an Irish man myself, you know, I want to see all these uh, Irish uh, fellas and gals do well. So, yeah, it was interesting to see um, them all get drafted onto respected shows last night. And hopefully they can kick on in their careers. You know, all three of them are in di different parts of their career at the moment. You know, Seamus has been there a while. Becky Lynch has been there maybe about a year now on the main roster. And, you know, Finn Balor is just getting started. So, you know, they're all at different paths in their career and uh, i'm very excited to see what happens next but uh, yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions for me leave them in the comment section below what did you think of the draft what would you have done differently let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you on the next video peace